you guys um we're gonna be replacing the cooling fan this is the cooling fan that cools the motor and then this is the one for the for the AC compressor this one cools the AC compressor and this one cools the engine itself so if one of these fans go out you'll have an overheating problem because the car works in sync with both fans all right so another good way of testing your fans is um like i showed you guys the jumper way where you connect the positive and negative cable from the battery or you could connect the cable and connect it to the two connectors in here it doesn't matter which way you guys connect them because either way it'll the fan will turn either forward or backwards depending on you know how you plug it in so it doesn't really matter because it won't cause any damage to it so i'll be replacing my radiator fan because um this one broke it's no good so this one allowed the vehicle to overheat because this fan was no good so now i'm going to be replacing it with this new one this is a dorman um radiator cooling fan and basically what i'll be doing is uh showing you guys how to install it basically it's, it's pretty simple it's pretty self-explanatory um there's gonna be two screws on the bottom down here there's one screw here and then there's going to be another screw right here on the bottom so you should be able to should be able to see it but there's no screw in this one i never put that back and then this is just a screw here so basically what this is going to do is this bottom piece here hold on let me turn down the brightness this bottom piece here all it's going to do is just sit in between that screw in order to hold that up but first you would need to take this bracket out and some people take out the battery and stuff like that but i'm not going to take out the battery i'm just going to take off the top radiator hose and just uh unclamp it and pull it back and then um just take this off this is one 10 millimeter bolt that you just take off right here just take out that 10 right here yeah like so Once you take out the 10mm bolt, put it to the side, unscrew this. Take this hose out. I know this is not the OEM hose, the other OEM hose was placed, so I'm going to get a new one, but that's what I use for now. Works perfectly fine. So now this is what it looks like here in the inside. right now this is with the reservoir out of the way so now you can see everything better this is where the screws gonna sit it's really rusty down here it's gonna get rusty so if you're ever looking to take these out from the bottom you can also pull the undercover that sits under the car and you can pull that undercover and then reach it from down there with a ratchet if so so like I said one is right here one is right here it's also the same process for this fan there's going to be two bolts up here one and two two 10 millimeter bolts and then you loosen the two bolts on the bottom and you disconnect the connector which is here and you just press down on the tab to release it and that's it so right now i'm going to show you guys uh it's the same way i'm going to be installing it's the same way i'm going to be showing you guys how to take it out so um now I'm just gonna put the new radiator in. So just give me one second and I'll catch back the video for you guys. Okay. All right, so now I'll catch back the video. So uh, what I'm gonna do is press on this clamp with a needle nose pliers, pull the clamp down. Now grab the hose, it's gonna be a little tight. So you just wiggle it off the radiator. A little coolant will spill out, it's nothing crazy. Just push it back like so. Now grab the new fan, right? You turn it this way. Push it down so it so it goes on the grooves for the screws. So you like lift it up. A little coolant coming out from here just put a rag in there real quick just slide this up and down it's 
So I'm gonna slide this in place for the fan. And then I'm gonna catch back the video for you guys. All right, so I'll catch back the video for you guys. Um, what you do is you can like reach down on the bottom here, on the bottom to line up the screw. I mean, uh, let me show you. You can uh, like slide it down on the bottom and then line it up with the screw so the screw will sit on it. So you just stick your hand down here and just line it up so it sits on top of this bracket here. So the screw just slides in. So then now you take the two tens and you screw it in the top once you get the bottom lined up. Okay, so I'm catching back the video. Sorry, the grass people are here cleaning the grass. So you put the 10 back in here, the 10 millimeter that's here, you put this back in, you tighten this 10 back, okay? Then there's gonna be two more on the bottom here, one and two. That's where you line it up on the bottom down here. You can reach down there with your hand and line it up so it sits straight on the bolt, okay? So then after that, there'll be a connector down there on the bottom. Right down there on the bottom, I can't show you guys, so I'm gonna show you guys from here. This is where the connector is gonna sit. So you just take the factory connector that's right here on the bottom here. Can't really see it too well because I already plugged it in. So this connector here, you just plug it in to the slot here and it just plugs right into the connector, boom. And then you just connect, um, you just tighten these down, connect the coolant holes back and uh, put the reservoir back and then that's it you're good to go and you replace the radiator fan what you do is another um the way of testing it after you do it since you took this hose off because some people take out the battery and the battery train and all that but the battery tray is a pain in the butt to take out so what i do is just take the radiator hose off and since there's a little air in the system you just um basically what you do is when you get in the car you let it warm up a little and then you just hold down the gas to about 2000 rpm and wait for the fan to cycle on and off on and off two times and that's how you know that you got all the air out the system but what I do is yeah when I do that I usually take the cap off and let it let the coolant come out to let the air out the system and you'll see like the little bubbles and stuff come out the system and that's about it yeah you change the fan all right so I'm gonna put everything back catch back the video for you guys so basically what I did was slid the holes back on use the needle nose pliers to pull the clamp back, pull the clamp back to hold it, release the clamp. So now it's on to the radiator, tighten down the two tens, put the reservoir back, the 10 millimeter bolt that sits here behind the reservoir, put that back, tighten it down. As you can see, it slides, the reservoir slid into the new fan on the top. So it sits in, this is the new fan installed. This is the new fan installed now. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, take the cap off and start the car. Hold on, I think I have a remote start. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Yeah. No, no, that's fine. So I'm just gonna remote start the car. So the engine's on. Tons of air didn't get into the system. It's just a little bit since it just went to the top. So it's just a little air in the system. But I'm still going to top it off, add a little coolant. And uh, watch to see if the fan turns on. I'm going to wait a while. Once the fan turns on by itself, then I'll catch back the video up for you guys so you guys can see the fan turn on and then turn off. Right now the temperature level is on cold, so it's still cold. And uh, what I meant was, excuse me, another way of um, seeing is is uh, for the fan to turn on is to hold it to 2000 RPM and so it fully warms up and then to listen for the fan to turn on and off. That's another way of doing it. Well, quicker way of doing it. So now everything is on, everything's good to go, 
but like I said, you wait for the fan to turn on once, then turn on twice, so you know that it's functioning. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them with the like, share, subscribe, and comment. Peace. I hope you guys thought this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. Now, as you guys can see, the bubbles coming out of the system, from the air in the system. The fan hasn't turned on yet. Should turn on soon. Catch back the video once it turns on. So, fan just turned on. Both of them just turned on to cool the engine. So then you can see the coolant went down. The fans are on. So it's going to turn on and then turn off once the coolant and the radiator is cool. See? It stop because it's cool. And then we'll just wait one more time for it to do that one more time and then put the cap back on and good to go. There we go. Then just turned on again. One more time. And that's it. That's where you know your system is fully... Okay, you can take it put up the gas. That's how you know the car is good to go. Then the fan will stop again and then you just put the cap on and you're good to go. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. If you like, share, subscribe, and comment. Peace.